Okay. Brilliant. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we shall now declare Uganda. Collins. Yes, I know Collins. I know Collins. Collins is one of us. Okay. David is a lawyer fan. Thank you so much, David. Okay. Hello. Great to see of the day. Good stuff. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin the day. So, right. I, I guess you can see my chat now, right? So, where shall we start? Where shall we start? Shall we start with Euro USD today? Euro dollar. Euro dollar today. Let's begin with Euro dollar, you know? All right. So, what did it post for? What you can afford? Yes, that's true. The situation in the UK, oh, it's, it's the same everywhere. You know, it's a lockdown. Everybody is indoor. We are waiting for direction from our government. So I just wish everybody keep safe and, uh, you know, just follow whatever the government in your country has tell you to do. Eugenia, hello. Joel, oh, nice to see you again, Joel. Good, good stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting with Euro Dollar today. Okay, so, right. So, let me first of all zoom out so you can see the story of Euro Dollar today, right? So, this, has, this is our box, okay? For people that have been here before, we know what this box means. This is a one hour. This is just one hour of trading between the hour of 7 to 8 o'clock GMT in the morning, 7 to 8 a.m. GMT. That is what this boy is all about. That is all it's all about. One hour. Okay? So, what we are trying to do is we're trying to see which direction the market goes after the one hour. So, when we see the market decide to go bearish after the one hour, we follow the market. We smell the money and then we follow the money where it goes. So today, Euro dollar, the money decided to go down south initially, as you can see. And what happened after that? The train moved back to where? To the support line. See what happened? Oh, the, the, it moves to the resistant line. So you can see the, this line which we have drawn very early in the morning very early at seven o'clock eight o'clock gmt look how important that line be became almost hours after we have drawn that line it became a powerful resistant point okay so this is the story of euro, euro dollar today it started we went bearish we were the train went down south when it got to the last station it made a u-turn and started heading north it got to the resistance level which we have drawn already we, we never knew it's going to be the resistance level when we did that it got to that station and make a u-turn again back down south and now it's trying to go up but as i said earlier by this time of the day the market is nearly dead no action europe is out of the market and uh, us as well they are kind of bored <laughs> they are bored with the market right now so no action okay so let's do the proper analysis now ladies and gentlemen okay okay so i'm making it bigger now all right fingers on the buzzer place all you old students new students don't worry if you don't understand it yet you will get to know it Fingers on the buzzer. Candle number one. Candle number two. Which is the trigger candle? One or two? Now, fingers on the buzzer, please. Candle number one or candle number two? One or two? 
All right, Vanny said two, Mr. Alex said two. Okay, Solomon said two. Solo, Resu two. Solo Westy, are you here for the first time? Gold medal, yeah, you, you know, you've been there, Veronica, yeah? Walid two. Chandel two. Django two. Andrea two. Jig Jibadi two. Vansi two. Molefi two. Blair two. Luna. Hello Luna. Welcome back. France two. Ati. Today you smell money like a dog. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Did you smell it or you actually pocket the money? You need to pocket the money, man. <laughs> Vamizi Prince 2. Christian Nwobu 2. All right. Italy. Welcome, Christian from Italy. Solo. Actually, third time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, third time. Yeah. <laughs> Jeek. Two die hard USDJPY was late for the feast. No, 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 you are not late. We just started. We just started. You haven't missed money many much. Mohammed, good evening, Eugenia. Too already done. Great stuff. Cool. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you tell me your answer is one, you are absolutely wrong. And thank goodness no no one said said one. That's why I said absolutely. <laughs> so if you say one is wrong, if you say two, mm, I'm thinking about it. I am thinking about it. It's absolutely correct. It is the right answer. Okay. So you got it. You are good student. You got it. Okay, so now we're gonna draw our cell line. So that is where we sell from. And we are going to make our line a thinner line. Okay, that's our sell line because you know you are going to sell at the close of the trigger candle. That's the trigger candle. So you are selling. Okay, so when you sell here, we all know that our take uh, our stop loss is the line above. Right? So the stop loss, if you sell is the opposite line okay is a high line the highest point okay so now we sold here and what is our tp which is which means take profit is the size of this box so the size of this box let's measure it is what it is the size of this box is a little pips today eight pips that's small eight pips size of the box all right well profit is profit so the size of the box is just eight pips let me do it again let's make sure we are correct yeah size of the box just eight pips okay so it means our take profit one is going to be eight pips our take profit two is going to be 16 pips and if you are going to going for tp3 tp4 you just carry on and on and on eight 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 pips for each of the take profit targets so let's see what we can get from our point of sale so we sold here and we are looking for initially eight pips yes we got our first eight pips even before we got to this point, what about our TP2 16 pips? We got there uh, 16 pips. Yes, around here we got our 16 pips around here. What about 24 pips, which will be the TP3? If you, if you have TP3, yeah, we got 24 pips. In fact, we got 31 pips. All right. So on USD JPY today, this is USD JPY. Five minutes. You got your TP1, TP2, and more, depending on how you got your setup. Now, that is just not the end of the story. 
see what happened next so i'm going to scroll a little bit further uh prices came back and hit the resistance point here which is the line that we have drawn and then what happened it went back down again so now we want to find our trigger candle here so i'm going to zoom in and ready for your fingers on the buzzer to tell me which candle number okay so we're going back here right so let me take this one away so that it doesn't color your judgment all right so now ladies and gentlemen fingers on the buzzer i'm going to start by calling this bullish candle number one i'm going to call this next one number two just to confuse you a little bit or make the task a bit harder because i don't want you to be guessing the same number all the time <laughs> So bullish candle here is number one. The engulfing bearish candle here is number two. And this third bearish candle is number three. Which is your trigger candle? One, two, or three. All right, now we know who is here. <laughs> Mr. Alex, three, you said. Okay, Mr. Alex, three. Adiwale, check it again. Adiwale, check it again. You said two. Okay. Okay, you want to try some filter? Yeah, we'll chat about that. Yeah. Okay, you want to create a group? Veronica, three. Adiwale, three. Diehard, three. Solo, three. Christian, three. Mr. Alex, you come back, eh? Mr. Alex came back with three. Good. Chandian. What? Two. Okay. Zanduzi. It breaks before. Vamisi. Three. Tuana. Three. Molefi. Three. Jungu. Three. Vanisi. Three. Jeep Jadi. Double three. Double three. Double three. David. Three. Vamisi. Three. Solomon. Two. Solomon. Two. Check it out. Solomon. Check it again. Blair three. Hello, please analyze so Aussie, Japanese, yen, Australian, US dollar, US Canada. We'll get there. Vamishi three, Solomon three. Ah, uh, Veronica, can we apply this strategy on New York session? I have another strategy called um, Asian breakouts, which focuses on uh, on Asia. I can do another one for US uh, session. But uh, you you got to uh, study very well and make sure it is back tested, and before you can give it to people to use. Okay, Franz Kruger three yes, Zanduli three, Temi three, Collins 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 one. What's happening, Collins today? What's happening? <laughs> Ah, Swana, two. Okay, Veronica, great stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us cut to the chase. Let us cut to the chase. Anthony, three. Okay. Now, if the issue is that you couldn't see it properly, so I'm going to zoom out or zoom in a little bit more so you can see properly. So I'll give you one minute. Colin, if you want to change your mind or anyone else who wants to change their mind after seeing this. Okay, so this is it. I call this candle, I say this is candle number one, this bullish candle. I call this engulfing bearish candle, I call it number two. And I call this bearish candle number three. And I'm asking for the trigger candle to go short okay remember this is the line above here so these are the two lines so i'm looking for the candle that take us into a short trade the trigger candle okay i'm going to explain it to everybody else but i just want the the champions here to tell me the answers first right okay anybody change your mind yeah chandia you change your mind great you change your mind Luna, look at it again. Luna, look at it again. 
Swanda, look at it again. Collins, check it out again. Okay. Check it out again and see if there's a difference. Okay. Right. Okay. I think I see. I see. Maybe some people are seeing something that I'm just seeing as well. Okay. If you look properly, right? Properly. This. <laughs> we already had one before there. Oh, yeah. Look at this small candle here. Maybe that's why some people are hesitating. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Sharp eye. Who's got that? Who's called that? Somebody's called that. I think that, um, uh, who's called that? Someone's called it, right? Okay, look at this candle. This is actually the first candle, right? Because this one went into the box and came back out. So this is a trigger candle. This is also a, another trigger candle. And this is also another trigger candle, the one that you are saying about three. Yeah, which is correct. But if you look backward, you see we have trigger candles before this number three. This one was a trigger. That also was a trigger. Right? Brilliant. So some people have a sharp eye. Okay, so let's take this number, this one uh, as our trigger candle. This one is our trigger candle. Okay, so that is where we sold from. We sold at the close of this candle here okay at the close of that candle here uh, our take profit is still the same size of the box which is eight points or eight pips whatever it is you normally call it and now let's see if we make another eight pips from where we sold from so we sold at this line did we get another eight pips surely we did Actually, we well, know what we got TP1 and TP2 because I can see 18 pips there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still dealing with one currency pair, and the story of that currency pair is that the first leg that was going down, we make TP1, TP2, TP3. If if you have anything called TP3 in your own uh, trade, and then another opportunity to go down again and we made tp1 and tp2 so all together today we have made eight points in four places or five places depending how you set it up any questions from anybody this pair is a usd jpy usd jpy yes Dinesh, you are right. That's why we went back there. It broke it, it break before twice. That's right. I think you call it absolutely correctly. You know? With your pair of sharp eye. Eagle eye. <laughs> Peter from Nairobi. Hello, Peter. You're welcome. You re Oh, yeah. Okay, that's true. So, the sequence was... um. Was a bit uh, a bit different right yes 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 Collins Ali Ahmed it's a fun game you love it <laughs> okay I think the pair I told you is USD JPY okay all right so we finished with USD JPY now let's move to the next one okay let's move to the Aussie dollar okay so with this Aussie dollar, I am going to explain uh, for people that doesn't know about the strategy. I will explain it properly now. Okay. All right. So for the Aussie dollar. Okay. So now the strategy, the way it work is we have this box that is drawn for us by the indicator. We have an indicator called session indicator okay i will briefly show you the indicator okay so the indicator is called sessions so it's the one that draw this purple box inside the indicator we have these settings so the indicator has a setting for asian session if you want to trade asian session the indicator has a session for europe 
session okay settings for europe session and lastly it has a settings for us session so us begin us end time europe begin europe end time asia begin asia end time okay but this strategy we are only trading the first hour of european session so we are trading only european session so therefore we don't need to see the asian session so the easiest way to take the asian session off your chart is to change the color and make it nothing none no color if you put any other color it will be showing on your chart but if you put none then it doesn't matter what time is here it wouldn't show on your chart okay so no color for asian for europe we are using 9 to 10 a.m right the reason why we're doing that is because the broker that i use is called ic market right and they are two hours ahead of london time okay so they are two hours two hours ahead of gmt therefore instead of saying seven o'clock gmt it is nine o'clock in this broker's platform so hence we put nine o'clock starts of europe ten o'clock end of europe because we just need the box for one hour we need the box to be drawn only for the first hour so between nine and ten the same thing we did for asian session we did for america uh, we don't need to see that on charts hence the color is nothing no color so that's why you only see purple color on your charts okay and if you want price to show you can set it to true but we don't need to see any price the price we can see here is good enough for us so that is how the settings work i hope everybody understand that Vami, she you want the indicator? All right, all right, all right. Cool it down, cool it down. You get it, you get it, you get it. I will send it to you. Right, cool. Just say now if you need indicator. You know the offer is going, is going, is going. Don't worry, the offer is there. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. <laughs> the offer is going nowhere. You are going to receive it okay everybody is going to get it we are going to make money together don't worry this is a winning team okay who is right it's dare is dare here <laughs> joe yakub your broker uses utc yeah so what you do is just compare utc to gmt and then set your indicator accordingly can we use it on Android phone? Uh, when you receive it, you can give it a go and see if it works on Android. I normally use it on the laptop. Okay, right. So that is about the indicator. Now let's explain very briefly about how we find the trigger candle. Okay, so the trigger candle is the first candle that comes completely outside of the box. Or outside of these two lines so the first line is the highest point of that one hour and this line is the lowest price or lowest point of that one hour okay so now we are looking for a candle that formed outside of the box outside of these two lines either below it or above it but we don't want that candle. We do not want that candle to touch any part of this line. It must not touch the line. It must be separate, completely independent from the line. Okay? So, let's look at these three candles here. They were outside of the line. Some part of it are outside of the line. Do they qualify as our trigger candle? Because we are looking for candle that is outside the box or outside the line but not does not touch these three candles do they qualify yes or no especially if you are here for the first time i know it's a simple question for 
for the advanced guys the advanced students ladies and gentlemen so if you are here for the first time you're just learning it is there a trigger here yes or no Andres says no okay just said no all right yeah so i agree with you there is no trigger there okay then we move on to the next area where prices cross again the line so here prices cross again the line so now we need to know which of this candle here is our trigger candle which of these candles i'm, I'm going to give them numbers i'm going to give them numbers remember the candle must be outside the box and also the candle must not touch the line that is the simple condition it must be formed outside of the box and must not touch the line okay so let's give them numbers all right so this inverted hammer let's call it number one this next one is number two this next bullish is number three this is number four and the last one is number five I make it a bit complicated one to five fingers on the buzzer what's your answer one two three four or five one two three or five okay you got email all right I got your email keep going one two three or five yeah one two three four or five okay need all right four 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 five four 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 no four 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 no veronica four hundred mr wedi funny you got hundred our chat didn't get to 100. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll bring the 100 back. We'll bring the 100 back. Alexandra, three. 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 It's three. Right. Four and five from Paul. Yamsi, four. Rakesh. Hello, Rakesh. Welcome. Blair, four. Lloyd, four. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. Well, if you tell me. Your answer is number one you are wrong okay let me zoom in let me zoom in zoom in let me zoom in okay i'm gonna zoom in okay right so this is number one inverted hammer yeah so if i if you say to me your answer is number one you are wrong if you say to me your answer is number two you are wrong if you say to me your answer is number three i'm afraid my friend my fellow traders you are still wrong but if you tell me your answer is number four i'll say you got it you got it and if you say to me your answer is number five even though number five is also a trigger candle but it's not the first one number four is the first trigger candle all right i hope we all get out clear okay nice and clear okay so at the close of that candle is our buy position so let us zoom zoom back so we can see what is happening okay so we got to the trade here so remember this is our box this is where our box is all right so we didn't get to any trade here we go to a buy position here now when you get a buy position here your stop loss will be the opposite line which is this one here the the bearish line is your stop loss okay so now let's find out what is our take profit target tp is 12.8 let's call it 13 pips okay so tp1 is 13 pips all right 13 pips okay from here this is where we went in so we are looking for 13 pips for tp1 let's see if we get that tp1 
Oh, four, 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 four. Yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? We got 33 pips. So, which is, let's see, we did we get to 36? No, we didn't. We were close, but when, no, no, we are close. 35 pips. So, we got our TP1, which is um, 13 pips. We got our TP2, which is 26 pips. And we nearly get to our TP3, but we are after TP1 and TP2. So, for Aussie dollar, we got TP1, TP2. And then, what happened next? Ladies and gentlemen, what happened next? We go back to the market again. We're going back to the market. Second time. Opportunity is just too many. Good. So, here. Right. So, you're going to tell me fingers on the buzzer again. I'm doing this because of the new people so that they can understand how we find our trigger candle. So I'm going to zoom in. So now we pop out of, of these two lines again going south, right? Now the question is, which of this candle is our trigger candle? Okay. My option will be four, one to four. So you tell me. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Which is the trigger candle? One, two three four fingers on the buzzer one two three four which of them which of them okay let's read what people are saying thought you meant the number of candle that close above no 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 all right if the three form outside of the box i was pushed down do we need any other method to filter out force breakout? Not for now. Volume filter, fake breakout. Touch you right. You have to check it out yourself. Wait funny. Whether it's uh, it's work uh, in the long run. It has been back tested for GBP USD for a few years. And uh, the return is about 70 to 80 percent. So, but um, you need to test it yourself and see if you can find the same result, come to the same conclusion. Okay, yes, you have one doubt. Let's hear it out. Anthony, when I miss the trigger candle, do I wait for a retracement around that candle to enter? Yes, yeah, so if you miss a trigger candle, um it depends on what price is done if the price has gone to the opposite uh and come back again and give you another chance yes you can go for it again right so because there are re-entry strategy like what we have done here is a re-entry or is, is a double we enter long here okay and the price came back and break again on the opposite side and we enter short so we made money going up we make money coming down okay right who is here why are we using seven to eight time for aussie dollar pa <laughs> seven to eight is for all of them um it does we we use it on gbp usd however it works on major peers and a lot of people have actually used it on different things like gold they've used it on usd south african currency they've used it on uh even us stocks um us indices so you have to try you have to you have to check it out Yes, about yes, 70 80 percent. Yes, you just you can do the uh, you can do it manually. Just look at the uh history of GBP USD or euro or whatever you want to check. Look at the box and see how it has performed in the past. Well, you have to decide which pairs you want to trade it with. Um, originally it was designed for uh, cable GBP USD. But uh, a lot of people on this chart, they trade on uh, all the majors. Some people trade it on different things as well. 
I pick the one that uh, you are comfortable with. It doesn't work every day, but the win rate is best compared to other strategy. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> you like it because it's simple and straightforward. Great stuff. Sure, yes. So, right. Any other question? Okay, right. So, next one is pound dollar. Okay, pound US dollar. Let's look at pound US dollar. How many pairs can we trade? We've talked about that. You back tested it for euro dollar yesterday night and gave net of 448 pips. I don't doubt it. <laughs> oh, cool, 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 cool. Right. So let's go to GPP USD. A lot of people want to see that. Okay, GPP USD. What's happened to you today? All right. So this is what happened to GPP USD today. All right, let's look at the big picture first. You've seen the big picture, okay? So the big picture is that we first of all went down south, right? We probably get into a trade here, we analyze it. Then we try go north again, okay? And the prices came, it didn't touch the stop loss there. Break again, and finally, we broke all the lines, both the top and the bottom ones, and then we down south. Okay, so let's analyze how many pips, profit or loss that we will have done today in GBP USD. Okay, so there we go. This is GBP USD. Okay, fingers on the buzzer, please. Uh, look at here. Did we get triggered into any trade? Yes or no? Did we get triggered into any trade? Yes or no here? Okay. Did we get triggered into any trade here? Yes or no? Candle number one. Candle number two. Candle number three. Which is our trigger candle this time? One, two or three. Trigger number one, two or three. Candle one, two or three. Which one? Yes, we got triggered into candle. Yeah, into a trade. Yes. And which is the number? Uh, what number is that? One, two, or three? Yes. Yes. First breakout. Yes. First breakout. That's right. Number two. Yes. Excellent. Good. Guys are getting their stuff. Yes. You are getting their stuff. All right. So, now we got triggered into this trade. Number two here. So we're going to add our trigger line, which is our sell line. So we got sold out into that trade. Okay, let's zoom. Let's zoom out so we can see the big picture. Okay. All right. So we got sold here. We got faked out there. So we got into the trade. Let's see how many people we made before the price made a U-turn. Okay, so we only made what? Eight pips. So we got uh, about eight pips. And then the price reversed back on us. Okay, well, it does happen. So it reverses on us. And this is our stop loss. So it takes out, take us out here at stop loss. Which is, oh my goodness. Stop loss has hit me. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are we going to do? Nothing you are going to do than to follow the rules and be brave. Okay, so you hit your stop loss, but check that out. You got another chance there. That's another candle that is outside of the box and is not touching it. Let me zoom in so that you can see properly. Okay, right. So I'm zooming in now. So that's another candle here. So that is another opportunity for you to buy. That's another... Um, signal so here you buy here okay so you buy here what is your take profit target this time 26 points 26 26 27 let's just round it up to 27 points 
So your take profit is 27 points. Now the question is, do we get 27 points? 26, 27 points from that position here. At least that will help us to cushion our stop loss earlier on. Yeah, we got this is 32 points. So we got 32 pips here. So definitely we hit our TP1. So if you have hit your stop loss earlier, you, you, you recover through this second trade. And what do you see again? That's the icing on the cake. This is another trade here. Because you see the price came back and break. It break this lower line again. I give you another trade opportunity. And that will be the bonus. Okay, let's see what that is. Okay, let's see which candle qualify this time. Let's see which candle qualify. Ah, look at that. This candle nearly qualified, but I would say it is touching. So, because we don't want to force anything, we just want to make it come naturally to us. So, this is touching. This is not touching. So, this is our candle. So, we are going to put our sell line after the close of that candle. Okay, at the close of this candle is our sell line. Okay, and how many pips are we looking for? We say we are looking for 27 pips from this line. Let's see, did we get 27 pips? That's our icing on the cake for GBP USD. Surely we did. We actually got 43. So we got 43 pips. So we make our TP1 here. Okay, so the summary is we started the day in red. Okay, we get stopped out here. Fine. We soldier on, get the next, uh, the next signal. It gives us our TP1, which erase the stop loss. And the ice on the cake, we got our TP1 here as well, which means we're going home happy. Excellent. Any question? You can't get all trade correct. No, if you think you want to get all of it correct, you are wrong. Okay, yes. Any more question? Any more question? Anybody want to see anything else? You want to see any type of charts? Uh, you want to see any currency? You want to see anything? We'll review it before we close for the day. Great stuff. I hope all the new people here are having good time and they are understanding the strategy.
Okay, sorry about that. Okay, it was a it was a, a pause from me. Okay, so let me quickly re rewind that. So it was a great day for gold. Okay, so what we see here is that gold here. There is possibility that we had we hit our TP one here. Um, price reverses again and give us another chance here to go long. Okay, so we went long here. We are going to hit our TP one. TP2 and probably TP3 if you look at the size of the price here compared to the size of the box okay so that's it and I was saying that uh, some people might use this as a re-entry signal and go long here again but personally I would like to see the, bo uh, the candle formed inside the box the body of the candle inside the box and then come out again then I'll take it as a re-entry uh, signal now I see the wick the wick of the candle in the box well if you have used that as your re-entry signal then you will have made your TP1 and TP2 here again so for gold today potential of TP1 TP2 TP1 TP2 TP3 and TP1 so you're gonna be smiling to the bank and asking for your gold coin today <laughs> great stuff any more question anybody has got a question okay yeah the sun is back i guess yeah we got we got the sun back oh you want us to create this um okay telegram okay we'll, we'll we'll do that we'll create a telegram we'll create a telegram and um we add all of you guys there and share ideas okay yeah the sun is back oh gee thank goodness sun is back all right so you want to focus on how to reduce first breakout that's a good point so if you have good ideas of how to reduce first breakout, if you think it's an issue, um, I would suggest maybe uh, try it on your system and come up with the idea and uh, we can uh, check it out. Okay, Alessandra, good stuff. Okay. All right, Saudi Buana, US Tech. You want to see US Tech today? Okay, you want to see US Tech. How do you set one and two? You mean take profit one and two? If that is what you're referring to, take profit one is the size of the box. So you measure the box. For example, this box, the size is 34 pips okay so 34 pip will be your tp1 and tp2 will be twice that size which will be 68 pips that is how we make our tp1 and tp2 okay telegram will be awesome all right great stuff <laughs> how soon um I'm not a telegram person, but I will see if I can create it as soon as possible. Okay, you want to wait for pull back. Okay, pull back. Great stuff. Looks like we all have great ideas here. I'm loving this. Great ideas are always welcome. You know, on my channel, you got loads of strategies that work. Okay, so... Uh, any great idea will be fantastic. Okay. Anybody want to see anything else? Let's see if anyone wants. Okay. So US Tech. Somebody say US Tech. All right. US Technology. Uh, which is US 30. All right. US 30. What happened today? US 30. What happened today? All right. US 30. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what happened to US 30 today. Here. Yeah and there okay all right so you can see today it's a game of two halves okay one here we got 
tri uh, triggered into a cell here but that cell didn't last long we got stopped out okay we got triggered into a buy one here uh, you probably might not be able to hit your TP one yet but as I said if you make like 10 pips or more and the prices is reversing back you better get out at a break even for the second trade and this third trade this one is smiling all the way to the bank so if you go short after this candle I'm sure you will make this is the size of your box that's TP1 you can see the size of this thing is like four times the size of that box so that means you make your TP1 TP2 TP3 TP4 whatever so whatever tip uh, st uh, stop loss you have had here you will have made it back here so most of the time on the same day you get opportunity to um, trade more than one times okay you want to check Aussie dollar what about court report what's court report okay Hell, is it market order that you play yeah you place market order you place market order when you see your trigger candle no oscillator no moving average no any indicator no rsi no macd nothing this is just purely looking at these two lines and finding the candle that breaks out of the line is that simple excellent all right i hope we had good time today uh if there are no more questions for me if there are no more questions for me shall i now try to be signing out gradually <laughs> shall i signing out gradually or oh, you still want me to be here for a moment for the last minute questions all right right all right so yeah this is focused on the simple breakout so if you want to discuss other strategy of course yes we can on another forum uh on each on each uh, of my strategies you can discuss that there but this one is purpose, uh, purposefully for this strategy uh, so that everybody can be carried along i want everyone using strategy to understand it 100 percent there is no ambiguity about it. There is no confusion. The result that you get is the result that I must get. We must be looking at exactly the same chart. You must reach the same conclusion as the next person. So that means that strategy is well, well explained and documented. okay in term right so i think we are all done here today thank you so much everybody who has taken time to join us again it's all pleasure for me to have lecture you guys and i believe you had good time so um keep fit keep safe and uh, when you trade make sure you use your stop loss all the time and make sure you protect yourself and don't let your winners don't let them turn to losers and the last advice is about how you uh, define your lot size